This sentence about erosion of East Coast beaches features a double dose of parallel structure. Parallel structure is one of the GMAT's favorite constructions to explore on sentence corrections. So first of all, we have the, the verbs in the first part of the sentence, would rise six feet above the water line, and, and then we need something parallel to rise. So would rise and act, that's correct. Would rise and acting, that is not correctly parallel. In the last half of the sentence, we have another parallel structure describing the action of the buffer. So the second part is and protecting. So we need something in parallel to and protecting. So it absorbs and, and protecting, that doesn't work. To absorb and protecting, that doesn't work. Absorbing and protecting, that works fine. So right away, if we just look at the parallel structure, the only one that has both parallel structures correct is answer choice C. So we certainly suspect that that is the correct answer. I also want to talk about this idiom here, act like versus act as. This is something very important to keep straight for the GMAT. Act like means to adopt the outward behavior of. So for example, if I act like a doctor, um, I'm not, that implies I'm not really a doctor, but I'm taking the behavior. Maybe in a situation I'm doing something that a doctor would do, or I'm adopting the outward behavior of a doctor. By contrast, if I act as a doctor, that means I am actually taking on the functions of the doctor. Okay, so there's nothing phony about acting as, whereas acting like has the connotations that it's something about appearance and not reality. So for example, if this breakwater acts like a buffer, well that implies it's not really a buffer. There's some, some, something superficially similar to the breakwater and a buffer. And that's not really what the context means here. We're, we want to say that the breakwater acts as a buffer, that is taking on the role of a buffer. And so act as is correct in context, and that's exactly what C has. So C is 100% grammatically correct. It is also very sleek and efficient. It is by far the best answer choice.